Hello, my planner friends. Today's video is going to be all about working in Canva with the free printable sticker advent I have going over on um, or going on over on Patreon. Each day up until Christmas, I am going to post a link to a free little sticker sheet that I've curated in Canva for you. You can then download it and cut it with your silhouette or your Cricut. I'm going to talk about using Cricut today because you guys know I love to share with you how to use your Cricut. We're going to talk about creating an offset, downloading these guys, changing colors, things like that. You only need a Canva free account. You don't need a pro account. If you have a pro account, that is going to be helpful, but you don't need it. All of these stickers and whatnot are free within Canva. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about how to change colors. If you select an element, if you like the colors as they are, you don't have to change them. But if you want to change them, you can select an element. And then on, in the upper left-hand corner comes up these boxes. You just tap on the boxes and then that will allow you to change the colors of the elements. When you go to save, if you have the pro account, you can go download the PNG, which is what I suggest to do either way. You can change the size as well. This is only what you can do for the pro account and then download it with a transparent background. Then go ahead and save it to your device. You'll have the transparent background and it will be good. You don't have to do this on an iPad. I'm doing this on my iPad right now, but you can do this on your desktop, things like that. If you don't have a pro account, you can just go ahead and download it at the resolution that it is. Um, you can't change anything. You can't choose a transparent background, but you would just go ahead and hit download and that's going to save it to your device as well. You can save it to, again, your computer or desktop. I'm just working on my iPad today. So then you can go over into your um, pictures and you can see that one of them has a uh, like a solid background. That's the PNG without the transparency. And then the other one has a black background. That's the PNG with the transparency. The, so the pro account is going to give you the transparency. The um, free account is not, but we're going to work around that. It'll be okay. So open Cricut Design Space, go to upload an image, choose your image. We're going to work with the PNG first, or I'm sorry, the transparent background first. You can see that it has a transparent background because you can see the checkerboard behind it. So you're just going to save it as print and cut, name your image that you want. I think I end up naming it something like Advent 1. Um, and this, or I guess transparent, and this is going to be the easiest to work with. So if you want to get a Canva Pro account, I will leave that down below um, so you can sign up for it. I think it's totally worth it. But once you add your transparent PNG into the Cricut Design Space, like working canvas, you're going to go to set an offset. Um, and so once you do that, you're going to make sure that you go over to contour and you're going to get rid of all the little bitties that will cut inside of your elements. So I got rid of um, the little, the inside O's and the ho ho ho's. I'm getting rid of these little bitties in here inside Mary and Bright. I'm gonna get rid of the little open spaces in the middle of the star, get rid of the little open spaces in the middle of season's greetings, things like that. You wanna make sure that you're, you're kind of turning them off, if you will, because you don't want your Cricut to be cutting all these little intricate things and kind of mess up your stickers. You just want the offset or the outline. So once that's done, you can just tap, there's not like an apply, you can just tap off of that box. And then I'm gonna go insert a shape because I don't like how the ho-ho-hos aren't one sticker. So I just inserted a square. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the proportion so I can change it the way I want. And what's really cool is in the iPad, I accidentally move it here, but in the iPad, I just hit undo. You can long press and that will allow you to select multiple items. So I'm just lining this up to make the ho 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 one whole sticker. I'm gonna long press on the, um, the box I just added and then long press on the black box behind all our stickers and then go and select weld. I believe it's under... Um, there's some new stuff there where it says like weld, um, um, division, things like that. You want to weld it. Now you want to send that to the back because we want that to cut behind our stickers. So you will just go to arrange, send to back, and then we're going to go over and change it from basic cut to print then cut and then change the background to white. And that's going to allow you to do a print and cut with it then select both of the images and go to flatten. And now we have our whole sticker sheet. And what we're gonna do next is to resize it. These should be resized to be 4.5 inches tall. So if you just lock the proportions again and then change only the height, then that's going to give you the right proportions. Next, we're going to upload our 
um, image with the white background. I'm not quite sure why it's showing these colors all weird, but all you're gonna do is just tap to remove the white background, and then you're gonna go ahead and save it as a print and cut and name it whatever you want to name it, um, and then um, select upload. This is gonna do the same thing that we just did. We'll just create an offset around it and things like that. All of the stickers are already formatted where you're not gonna get any weird like background removal where some of your stickers are um, like white parts are removed. They're all kind of formatted so they're, they're pretty good. So then we're gonna do the same thing. Go and create the offset around it, whatever uh, amount that you feel is good. And one of the good things about doing it with the white background and removing it is a lot of the stickers are going to be connected because you're not removing that middle, like the middle of the O's or the middle of the star or whatever. So then same thing, change that background from basic cut to print and cut and change it to white. Then select both your sticker and your offset background and flatten them. Then select the um, height and the width and change the height just to be 4.5. Next, go into the shapes and add in a square and make that the print and cut area of your um, of the Cricut Explore. Or I'm sorry, of Cricut Design Space. I have an Explore, that's why I keep saying Cricut Explore. But you're gonna make it the print and cut area of Cricut Design Space and you're gonna send that to the back. These will fit four to a sheet. So four of the sticker sets will fit in the print and cut area of your Cricut Design Space. So you might want to wait until like December 4th to print all of these, but I'm showing you now that I'm just lining these up within that bounding box of that um, print and cut area. And um, that's going to maximize your, I'm accidentally sizing them here. I don't mean to do that, but that's going to give the maximum print and cut area to your Cricut um, when you go to hit make it. So then just select all of them and flatten it and then hit make it and you will see that all four of your sticker sheets are on one full page and you've maximized your print and cut area. You can turn on or off the bleed. I find that sometimes when I have the bleed on, it um, helps with the registration and it cuts better, but that's just gonna be white. So you can leave the bleed on if you'd like. And that is how you use the stickers and whatnot on the printable Canva advent that I have for you on Patreon. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and see the other videos I have on my channel. Go ahead and follow me on Patreon and go over there and support if you want. Uh, you can join the Printable of the Month Club and get a sticker, printable sticker kit every month. And yeah, so I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.